All right, going to talk about the next 10 days here down at Hiawatha, Kansas, here at the answer plot. Um, I'm sitting in a hybrid here, 5789, and we're going to look at the growth stage here. Again, um, as I just grab this plant off, it's easy to determine early on. Here I've got the, uh, the rounded tip leaf. We'll call that as V1, V2, V3, V4, V5. So we're actually in this side here at V5. Now, a lot of things are starting to happen. Um, number one, at V6, we're gonna initiate that ear, um, determining rows around right at V7. Um, but also, some things that are going on in the plant. From VE to V10, we actually are gonna add a leaf every 84 growing degree unit days. So, not quite as fast as later on. As many of us know, once we get to V11, it seems like that corn just absolutely takes off. And that's because that time is almost cut in half. We're gonna add a leaf every 56 growing degree unit days. Now, the other thing going on in this plant is let's talk about roots. Um, at V3, believe it or not, those roots in a 30 inch row right here are actually connected right here in the middle. Roots are typically gonna develop about an inch a day in optimum growing conditions. So if it's dry, probably a little less. Um, but an inch a day by rule of thumb, and we are gonna reach maximum root density not until R3. So roots are continuing to grow, continuing to add density, which is really going to enable that plant to bring in moisture, nutrients, and help out that yield potential. So as we gear up for this critical time frame of adding yield um, during ear development, let's make sure we've got adequate fertility. Let's look at our RTN scores. Let's make sure that we're managing disease pressures, that we're looking at our RTF, or responsive fungicide scores. Meet with your local agronomist have him go through your characterization scores brought to you by Winfield United and discuss these scores to make sure we're managing all these products the right way.